Okay guys, we're back at Legoland Windsor, except this time, just the two of us. So, we can get to do all those rides that the youngsters don't normally let us, let us do. It's just more fun without kids. But first, I think we're hungry, aren't we? Yeah, so, food. Food. Well, we're through the gates and looking down across the valley, you can tell it is really wet and drizzly, which I think we're half hoping would put a lot of people off, but car parks were quite full for a school day, so I think everybody had the same idea. This is not your typical British weather. No. It's really warm, I could take this off, but I don't expose myself to the poor public. It's it, it feels as though the sun's coming through the clouds, yeah. although the clouds are really thick. It's, it's, it looks like typical British weather, but it's really warm, and that rain's incredibly fine, so it doesn't actually make you wet at all. It feels a lot more um, weather from abroad. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to embrace it. Yeah. So, this is lunch today. We've got a bacon double cheeseburger, chips, and I think what we've always found, actually the food in this place is not that bad, as far as British theme parks are concerned. When we came inside, there was a bit of a queue and all the tables right by the front door have been grabbed. Lots of people sitting down while their family members queue up. If you just come around the corner, there are loads and loads and loads and loads of empty seats. So it's just that kind of panic mentality. Yeah. I'm going to say, this part of the restaurant, there's only three of them, there's four families who sat down. What I quite like about this place is the theming. It's very, it, it's not done particularly over the top, um, but it's quite sweet. And there are little signs. This is a pirate's one, isn't it? There are little signs everywhere. And little jokes. So, What's a pirate's favourite subject at school? I don't know. Mm. Art. Oh. <laughs> uh, what's orange and sounds like a parrot? I know this one. A carrot. Uh, why does it take pirates so long to learn the alphabet? Something about R? Because they spend years at sea. <laughs> <laughs> so if you if, if you're a big um, Disney fan, you'll know that the maps for the parks are quite distinctive. And if I just show you this, Legoland Windsor has a very it's very similar. I noticed it before, but I just looked at it and saw, let me zoom in. Let me zoom in a bit. If I just took a quick look, not knowing where I am, I'd have sworn that that was um, Magic Kingdom at either um, Disney, uh, as either Disney World or um, Disneyland. It's just got that feel to it. So who knows? It looks like a Disney map, but I don't think it's like a Magic Kingdom. So we've just had some lunch. It's nice. It was good, yeah. I'm just very full up now, so I'm not entirely sure what we will do ride-wise. But the beauty is that it doesn't matter, we can just wander around to our hearts content, can't we? It's cost us nothing to get in. Yeah. If you didn't realise, we've actually got um, season ticket holders for Legoland, not the whole Merlin Pass thing, but for Legoland, we've got an, an annual season pass. So. The uh, park entry and the car park is free, so and we get a discount on the food and the merchandise and whatnot. So we can we, can, we come as often as we like as we can, and we also come for quite short periods of time because we can. Yeah. Which is obviously, if you're paying the the very high prices that you would do normally, that's quite tricky. So should we just wander yeah. and see what we find? Now look, this is where we are years behind the states 
Yeah. And Disney in particular. I mean, look, it, it's just grim. Grim, 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 grim. It's there, it's there for passing yeah. visual thing. Don't look too close. And that's what I think you can do at Disney. You can look very closely. Yeah. Nothing's ever going to be perfect. That's not life. The only people that are going along there are going to the smoking area. So the smokers, there's no point of them not really caring what. Well, yeah, but we're walking past here. Yeah. Well, that's true. It matters. The little detail matter, and at Disney World, they know that. I think one of the problems is, and you'd think because this is part of a much, much, much bigger organisation in Merlin, that they have to be would have the wherewithal to have their own answer to the Imagineers that Disney has and the yeah. Imagineers that um, Universal has. I would agree, but they don't. They don't. They could make more and more of this and then they do. Although this is quite... This is quite good, yeah. Quite good. Oh, there's the aeroplane. Yeah, for, the, for those that don't, that don't realise we do we are happen under to be right underneath the new flight path. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's Dorothy's alter ego, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Not much older, really. <laughs> You know who needs one of those, don't you? Dorothy? Albert to protect himself from Dorothy? We've decided that Dorothy definitely needs one of these. That's awesome. <laughs> She's quite a player. Is she? <laughs> Love it. Great little um, Christmas Christ gifts. Yeah, Christmas stockings. They're, they're nice quality. Yeah, these are lovely, these ones. I was looking at these ones, sort of the, like the pirate, I suppose it's a sort of piratey thing. You get a couple of, put them away for a few months. Yeah. Something. Doing my Christmas shopping, it's only June. So the rain's starting to come down a bit now. It is a bit. We are about to go on extremely mature and grown up ride, aren't we? We're looking a bit worried. See how it goes. <laughs> Be brave, man. Be brave. It's quite extreme, considering it's got little plastic horses on it. Yeah. It's quite extreme. Oh. <laughs> Are you sure, darling? <laughs> Okay, if you really want to go high, we really want to hear you scream. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, 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 Look at the oh, yeah. Can you help the computer find the correct shark by pressing the control button which matches your answer? they got any Dory's? Dory's the blue one.
so much here. Oh, look at that. Wow. That's one of those prehistoric things, isn't it? This is interesting. It's actually not not a uh, Lego land thing at all. It's actually uh, shark truck, which is what all these shark videos. Well, that's footage from inside the the ride itself. I think you thoroughly really enjoy that ride. I love that ride. Yeah, really enjoy it. It's it's um, the queue is it moves all the time. Yep. Which really helps. Um, the ride itself is lovely. It could do with being twice the length. Yep. It's a very quick ride. One, I suppose that's why the queue moves quickly. I mean, one of the things I do like about it is that I didn't notice, didn't see anything that looked as though it was suffering or. No, I agree. Um, you know, it was not in good yeah. condition. Everything, even the. Uh, the ones in the tanks afterwards. Yeah, look really healthy. Look, yeah. And not that we know much about fish, but I agree, that is true. Oh, the ducks! Oh! <laughs> duck, duck, duck! They're, they're coming over here because they know we've got something that they might want to eat. Duck! 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 Here. I let them out! Here, just feed them. Hello! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Which guy is that? They are going to move, I suspect. Oh. Nope. <laughs> it's the bed wet. My back's getting very wet. My back's getting very wet. This isn't fully open. Well, the rain has all but stopped now. Hasn't stopped us getting very drenched. Um, and wet knickers. I think it's with me, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, I walked right into that one. <laughs> <laughs> that is the view at the moment. The dark clouds are what's left of that storm that's just come through, and the light stuff over there is what's coming. As the announcer just said, Legoland is closing in about 20 minutes, just as the weather improves. We have a very important stop to make before we leave. We have to do the Dicky Mix. We have to do the DM. The law. I'm not really wearing anything. I'm so drenched, I've literally sort of come into a quiet corner and stripped off, which is completely ridiculous now because I'm broadcasting myself to the full <laughs> 64 subscribers. Yeah. There might be 65, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, we will yeah. probably see you post pick a mix. I don't know. Quite all right, all right there, darling. Yeah. <laughs> I was just trying to get wait for it to get in focus. Right, that is us post pick a mix stop. My husband just found a waterproof coat in the bag that he put in. <laughs> Are you not impressed? Um, to be fair, I'm slightly relieved that I can put a dry coat on, but don't tell him that because <laughs> if he told me he had a waterproof while it was actually raining, I might have been a little bit less grumpy. Oh wow, look how clear it's got now. Oh look, wow, look at that. That, that is... is impressive. Look at the sun coming through. God. You couldn't see... Oh, look how pretty it looks. So, just to give you a little tour, that there is the Lego Hotel, which we might, you might have caught us out, outside, I think, at one point. 
right there. Wow, look at the castle. Let me just try and zoom. So that there is Windsor Castle, off in the distance. But way off in the distance there is, where is it? It's Heathrow Airport, there it is. You can just about see the tower off in the distance. So that's the beauty of the annual passes. There's never any pressure on you to have the perfect day because you know you can come back again. And it's funny, I think we have probably changed our view on annual passes. I think in the past we've probably thought, why would you want to do it? Yeah. But now it makes all the sense in the world. I, I think it depends on the locality of the place, yeah. you know, how close it is. If you've got to travel two or three hours every single time, but if it's something within an hour or a, a journey that you're prepared to make regularly, you come for two hours. I and think, you get more, you have more fun, don't you? Because there's no pressure. Yeah, and I think one of the things we're thinking about doing is beginning of next year, I think we're thinking of getting Merlin passes. Yeah. Which will he give thinks a, we're thinking. I think we're thinking. Which... <laughs> that gives us access to pretty much every theme park in the UK. Yeah. Uh, lots of which are based around the area that we live in, fortunately. So... Say okay, bye-bye to the train! Yep. There's the train going by. Probably quite empty, I suspect. In fact, not letting anybody else down into the park now. Ah, uh, yeah, the park is closing. 